right, so I haven't been posting on most of my social medias in a while, and the reason for that is because I have had no home. I've, I've kind of been legitimately homeless. My ambulance kind of died. My transmission needed completely rebuilt. I mean, I've been living on the road in a school bus and now the ambulance for the past four and a half years, but this is the first time that I've ever actually not even had a vehicle to live in. So I've actually just been having to stay with friends, which I'm super, super thankful for. I've been able to stay here in St. George. Caden and Kyson Palmer of the Palmer Compound, they let me stay with their family. I had my own bedroom there, which was amazing. I also stayed with my buddy Dallas here for a week at his sister's place. She has a really nice house. So I'm incredibly blessed to have friends like this to take me in when I have nowhere to stay because my only other option was to get a hotel for three weeks or an Airbnb or something which would have just cost me a ton of money and instead I got to hang out with my friends I got to keep my dirt bikes at their house and we still got to go on a lot of adventures but at the same time creating content wasn't really my main focus just because I was I don't want to say depressed but I was just like kind of kind of just like down and out you know I just felt just felt very discouraged and pretty pretty down on this whole situation, knowing that I'm facing a repair bill that could be upwards of $7,000 for the transmission. At the same time, I really hate being like a burden on my friends having to stay at their house and having them feel like they need to entertain me or something like that and just not having transportation to just be able to like go wherever I wanna go, whenever I wanna go somewhere. So it's been a little bit tough for the last couple weeks. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get the ambulance back, but I'm hoping that it's very soon. I figured I would at least take this opportunity to just at least show you what I do in a normal day-to-day -day life, hanging out with my friends down here. I decided that we're just gonna start filming first thing in the morning and film every single thing we do throughout the day. That leads us to where this video begins, where you will see I had woken up about five minutes before I started filming. My eyes are all puffy. I look super tired, so just ignore all of that. We decided to torture ourselves for the better and start our day off with some nice cold plunges in a freezing cold swimming pool. Enjoy the video. I'm sorry for not uploading for a while, but it also was a nice break away from social media that I needed, and I'm ready to get back to it, start filming some more content, and hopefully get the ambulance back ASAP and get back out on the road and start doing some crazy adventuring. So thank you guys for uh, understanding. Let's start the video. All right, it is absolutely freezing. This is the last thing. I can't even explain how badly I do not want to get into this freezing cold pool, but we have to. We said we were going to do it. We have to do what we say. We had the hot tub right there on last night, like 105 degrees or something. It must have shut off overnight because now it is also freezing. Thought we were going to be able to just get back and forth. Cold plunge, hot, cold plunge, hot. Now we just have cold plunge. And I said by 8 a.m. I'd be in this water. So oh, you better get going, 7.59. You better get going. Let's do it. Oh. Boy, this water's fucking cold. You son of a bitch. Oh. I'm, I'm awake. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <We're alive. laughs> I hate waking up in the morning, even in like a warm bed. I just hate waking up. So this is like the worst it could possibly be. This is brutal right now. Dallas got in before me and he went all the way under. So oh, I hope the stabilization on the just wow, shaking like crazy. All right, it's time for some contrast and some heat. Oh, oh. oh. We put a backup in place this morning in case the hot tub shut off overnight. So we're trying to get the steam room working. <laughs> Dallas is taking a warm bath. And then we got the sauna cranking right now. and warm. Gotta get right back into this freezing cold. Ugh. You can see your breath. People probably think this is a hot <laughs> Definitely not. I don't know why the arms are so hard for me to get in the water. One, two, three. Hands aren't working that great right now. All right, this one was way more rough. I literally couldn't even feel myself drying my body off. Dallas is going back in the steam room. I'm going back in the sauna. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Jeez. 
just over 140. I'm gonna sit in here for another 15 minutes. After that, we're heading down towards the gym. But this is an incredible start to the morning that I normally would never, ever, ever do because it's miserable. But also afterwards, I guarantee the entire day is gonna feel so much better. We are off to the gym. You'll get it right now. All right, 11 a.m., we're leaving the gym now. We're gonna go drop off all this trash now at the dump for Dallas' sister because she's letting me stay with them. So we're gonna go do them some favors because they're doing me a huge favor and we're just both trying to show how appreciative we are of them because they're helping us both out a lot. We're gonna go head down there now, dump off this uh, carpet and we got the whole back of the Suburban loaded. So let's head to the dump real quick. We just threw in all of this carpet here. Wow, we threw almost all of it in before we took a single video. So hard to remember to film everything. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're back at Dallas' sister's house, grabbing the e-bikes right here, and we're about to go for a ride up a mountain. Let's go. All right, hopefully this angle's good for you guys. hands down inside the hoodie to keep them warm. Should have brought my bigger gloves. Let's do it. This trail gets pretty hectic. Oh. <laughs> this is such like enduro type riding. Oh, the sun just came out. That's sick. We both have completely bald tires on these things. We were supposed to get new ones put on today, but all the shops were busy. It is a workout going up this thing, even though they're electric. Ooh, I almost put my foot down there. Look at this right here. Pop up on this thing. Boom. Nice. Heck yeah. I'll give you a quick iPhone shot of these views up here. My body. All right, let's just see where it goes. What in the world happened here? At the very end of the time lapse. Dallas foot peg clipped yeah. a rock over there. On a time lapse, yeah. Well, now he's got no front brakes. <laughs> but who needs brakes anyways? Oh my gosh, these clouds. Heck yeah. Now let's just keep on keeping on. We're gonna try to make it up to the snow up there maybe? I don't know. We're both getting pretty low on battery and we have a long way back, so. We shall see. We should probably cruise back. Getting a little bit low on battery. Oh no. We just re uh, flip the breaker. Oh, the brake sensor, yeah. You can you can unclip it. Ooh, actually, that might be kind of hard. There we go. They're inside this one. There we go. Look at that get again in tester. Ready. Yep. Beautiful. We're good. Turn that off, pull that out, flip the breaker off, and then you can unplug that and drop it in. There we go. Electrical mechanics right here. Dallas must have hit something with his front end. His whole front brake rotor is completely bent, so warped that the brake keeps catching it and it's making it super hard to ride for him. Dude, that thing's seized. Smack it with a rock. It's gonna keep going.
All right, we went back in the house for a little bit, decided we were super hungry and need to replenish our body with some calories. So back on the bikes, down to In-N-Out. First one to put their foot down loses. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Dang. <laughs> good game, good game. Cool. Awesome, thanks, man. Thank you, have a good one. You too. Let's see if I drop it all. Yeah, dude, I'm a G. I'm a top G. See, now we totally could have just went inside, but what fun would that have been? So at this point, it was getting a little bit late in the day. We just came back to the house, relaxed, watched a movie, went to bed, then woke up, did it all over again. It's kind of what my life's been. Sorry if you thought it was a little bit boring. It's not my normal adventures. Just kind of wanted to show you guys realistically what a day in the life is like, especially when I don't have the ambulance. So but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm super thankful for you guys subscribing to my channel, watching all my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos coming soon whenever I get the ambulance back. See you guys, peace.